Hi everybody. So this vehicle is a 2008 Chevy Cobalt and today I'm diagnosing a crank but no start condition. And it's been intermittent for a while. Uh, the customers had uh, days where the car ran fine and then other times where it wouldn't start for several days. Uh, and then they also had uh, one or two instances where they saw some smoke coming up from the top of the engine. Uh, although they didn't tell me, they didn't know exactly where it was coming from. Uh, but one of the things that the customer did was they saw that the wire loom was getting crumbly. So went around and started breaking it all up. Uh, so now most of the wiring harness all over the top of the engine is just exposed. Uh, yeah, some of it's still intact. Some of it is still crumbly, like this one here. So, I'm gonna have to put new loom on there. But anyway, uh, in diagnosing this, uh, it took a little bit of time, and I think I found out where the problem is. Uh, I think it's actually the ground for all of the coils. And the reason I went after the coils is because when I would do a crank, you definitely get a smell of fuel up here in the engine area. Uh, so I was kind of thinking, well, I'm smelling fuel, so I'm sure there's, you know, the pump is working, I'm getting fuel up here, I'm guessing the injectors are working. Um, but since it wouldn't start, I was thinking ignition. Uh, so to try and pinpoint what was causing the problem, I went and printed out uh, the schematics for, uh, they call it powertrain management, so for the computer, and basically went through, highlighted the wires for uh, the injectors and for the coils, uh, both from the ECU and where they're getting their power and ground from. Uh, so. The power and ground side was actually pretty easy to figure out uh, because we've got, you know, four coils, so each one of them has a power, each one of them has a ground. And for the power, I uh, basically just uh, did a continuity test with the meter going from this fuse here, number 15, that's the injector fuse. Uh, and the injector fuse on this car actually supplies power to both the coils and the injectors. So, if that fuse is good, then you should have power going to all four injectors and all four coils. Uh, so, to test that, uh, basically just continuity, pretty easy. Just take my test lead, go into the first pin on all of these connectors is power. So, you basically just go to there, and then on the other side, actually can't do it right now because I have it hooked up here. But basically take the other side, go to fuse 15, see if you have continuity, the meter beeps, and if so, life is good, you've got power going to all the coils. Uh, so I did that, and then the second thing I did uh, was actually I, I checked ground next and I was not getting continuity. Uh, so I, that's why I think this connector here, this group of black wires, that go to a bolt. Let's see if I can show you where it goes. There's a bolt on the back of the head here. All right. Let's see where it's at. It's right here. There's a bolt on the back of the head. And that's where all these coils ground out. So uh, I can show you that right now because I have this black clamp on the engine and if I take my other side of my probe and touch somewhere on the engine then I have continuity and the meter beeps so I know I have I know I have ground on here but then if I go to the ground pin on all the coils which is the fourth pin over then I don't get anything So, but if I test on the engine, I do. Oops, so I'm just touching there a little bit. So 
So I definitely have ground on that pin, just not getting anything on the coils. So that's why I think that connector down there probably is corroded. So I'm gonna take that apart, check it out. Probably have to redo that ring terminal uh, to supply ground back to these coils again. Uh, but, you know, since this wiring harness is so messed up, uh, basically all the loom is gone, and I don't know how long it's been gone for, uh, you know, there's always a chance that somewhere along here there's been chafing with the wires rubbing against maybe the fuel rail or, you know, on the side of the valve cover here. Um, you know, so there's a possibility that you're going to get wear through on the wire, and then either a short to ground, uh, that would be the most likely, uh, or a short to power somehow, uh, or a short between the two wires. So just to make sure that all the coils are good, uh, I went through the schematic and found out where, I uh, actually did it to the injectors also, where the injectors and where the coils uh, terminate at the computer, which is right here, very, very conveniently located right in front of the fuse block. Uh, and as it turns out, they go to connector two, which is the bottom gray one. So to do that, just follow the pin out, right? So you go, for example, ignition coil number one, that's pin 22. Uh, and then I have a printout. Uh, they're actually both the same. Connector one and connector two are both of the same pinout. So there's how the pins go. So you see row number, you know, for your point of view, if you hold it, hold the connector like this, then that matches the drawing here. And then you got four rows of pins. So the first row goes from number one to 16, then it goes 17 to 32, and so on. So here for the coils, I'm looking for 22, 23, 24, and 26. So it's kind of simple, just start at 17, count down to 22. So you do that on here, count down to number 22, and then ohm that wire across to the connector for the coil. And pin 22 is the purple wire for coil number one. So you go here, purple wire, second pin, ohm that out, and you should have continuity. Uh, and I did that for all of them. And they all, they all loomed out good. They all have continuity. Uh, of course, I checked across all the other wires. There was no shorts. Uh, so the only problem I found so far is that bad ground. So I'm gonna dig into that. And once that's fixed, I think this thing's gonna start right up. So pretty cool. Anyway, if you have any questions or any comments, post them below and if you have a problem with your Chevy Cobalt doing a crank no start, maybe this will help you out. Uh, and if your Cobalt, uh, if the wire loom is all busting apart on it, uh, don't leave it go. Put new loom on it because this is, this is just uh, asking for trouble. So, and also, if you like my videos, please subscribe.